everybody, Linda Bradley from Princess House. So I am here tonight to cook a chicken in the air fryer. You know, as it's getting hotter outside, the kitchens tend to get heated up really quickly when you turn your oven on, and especially a chicken that has to cook for over an hour. So an air fryer is the perfect way to do it because it does not get your house all hot. So what I've done is I've mixed some of our incredible Miracle Chicken Spice. I highly recommend this. And I've mixed it with just some oil. And then I'm going to brush it. Well, I had a little brush. What the heck did I do with it? All right. <laughs> I had a little baster brush. And I'm just gonna put it all over the chicken. Now, when you put your chicken in the, um, the hot air fryer, I'm going to tell you to put it breast down first. Cook it for 40 minutes at 360 degrees. Then you're going to turn it over breast up and cook it for an additional 15 minutes at the same 360 degrees. And then you're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes before you actually cut it. So you don't wanna to get too big of a chicken because it won't fit in your basket. This one is almost a six pound chicken. That's about the most that you can get. All right, you can see it in here. So that's how easy this recipe is. And you're, I'm gonna put a little lemon juice over the top and then that is gonna help it brown as well and it's going to be an incredible meal. What I love about this is, again, as we come into the warmer months and there's more things for us to do, the kids wanna play outside, you're at the playground, and you just don't have as much time or inclination to cook dinner, this way it cooks it for you and you don't have to worry about it, you can just go on your business and do whatever you need to do. Now, if you want to, obviously you can make different vegetables uh, that you want. So we're gonna do this for 40 minutes. Let's see, oh, that's the wrong way. There you go. Um, and obviously you can cook any type of, you know, potatoes. Whoops, I'm too far, 40, come on. There you go, 40 minutes. And, um, or if you're just trying to keep things light, you can just throw a quick salad together and it makes it nice. What I love about doing these chickens is, you know, the store sells rotisserie chickens, but they're tiny little things. So this is a six pound chicken. It's gonna give me plenty of food, not only for dinner tonight, but leftovers. And you can use that leftover chicken in so many ways. You can make chicken Caesar salad. You can make chicken wraps, right? With tortilla uh, roll ups, so easy. Um, you can add chicken in almost any meal. And it is a great way to add protein into a diet. That's a super easy thing. Chicken salad is great. Make some what they call Wardorf salad. So when you make your chicken salad with mayonnaise and chicken, go ahead and put celery in there and maybe throw in, depending what you like, um, some chopped apples, some chopped grapes, and some chopped nuts. And that's really good. If you don't like the nuts, obviously just don't do that. But you know, the seasonings and the little things that you do are what add that little bit of extra sparkle. And a lot of people are like, I'm so sick of cooking dinner. I don't know what to cook every night. So when you take simple recipes like this and then they can stretch and use them for more than one night, it saves you a lot of time. All right, so 360 degrees, 40 minutes. We're gonna flip it over for 15 more minutes and then let it sit for 15 minutes and I'll be back to show you the finished product. All right, Linda Bradley at myprincesshouse.com.